Hi, I'm David from DVDO, and we're going to take a look at DVDO's latest product, the iScan Mini. So let's jump in. So what is iScan Mini and why do you need one? Well, 4K TVs are becoming very popular now, and with their 8 million pix pixels, they can provide an absolutely amazing picture. This particular one actually came with its own media player that had a couple dozen 4K movies on them, and it's, it's absolutely stunning. But that's really not what we watch every day. Most of the time, we're either watching cable, satellite, internet streamed video, and all those things have one thing in common. They're all pushed to your home through a very narrow pipe. When that video is completely has to be compressed to get through that pipe and then decompressed, it has some artifacts in it that just don't look all that great. Not to mention the fact that most of this content at best is 1080p and some of it's even lower. Um, this particular TiVo uh, really likes to send 720p for some channels and 480 for others. So it just depends on the content that you're watching, what's what you're feeding to the TV. Well, iScan Mini is specifically designed um, to make your 4K TV, or your 1080p TV even, look better. It's got a professional video scaler, as well as a whole toolbox full of video enhancements um, that'll really make that video pop off the screen. Plus, it's in a very small package, small enough that it can fit behind the TV. The, the one we're using for the demo here is actually hidden down below. You might not have noticed it unless I told you. Um, and it's powered by USB, so it's completely powered by the TV as well, so no need for an external power supply. So let's dive in and take a look at a, a few of the features. The first one we mentioned was scaling, a professional scaling capability. So we have a menu here uh, that lets you set how you want iScan Mini to, to scale. And let me tell you, right out of the box, it's in an automatic mode, as, as are the enhancements. So you shouldn't have to do anything to see a really dramatic difference uh, in the video quality of, of, of what's being displayed on your TV. In auto mode, what it does is it uh, senses what the TV is capable of and scales whatever you send to it um, the highest possible uh, resolution that the TV can handle. Normally, the iSkin Mini is placed as the last thing right before the TV, even if you're using an AVR, uh, DVDO Duo Edge, or in fact, here a Quick 6 to do the switching. Um, this does that final 4K scaling. In cases where you have a duo or an edge, this provides an uh, amazing 4K scaling upgrade capability to those existing DVDO uh, duo and edge products. In the scaling menu, we also have the ability to set a manual uh, resolution. So if you have a very specific re resolution you want the TV to have, we do have the ability to uh, set that manually and we make an attempt to scale uh, to that if possible. Uh, in the enhancement menu is where really a lot of the magic happens. Uh, this is where we can fix internet video, the, that compressed video we talked about, as well as uh, enhancing the video to make it almost pop off the screen. On a good 4K display, you can see video that looks almost 3D if it's adjusted uh, properly. So the first thing you'll see at the top is a set of uh, presets. There's actually eight uh, built in, some for standard definition video that comes in, some for high def. And, and the important part here is video enhancements tend to be pretty subjective. And what you like may not be exactly the same thing as your neighbor two doors down like. So this lets you set it to exactly like you like it. And iSkin Mini uh, automatically switches between those presets based on the kind of video coming in. So once you set it, it's all automatic. It takes care of itself. So what kind of enhancements uh, are actually available and what do they do? There's uh, three basic categories. The first one is we can adjust basic video settings, things like brightness, contrast, and color. Um, you, normally you adjust those on your TV, but you do have the option of giving them an extra kick here if necessary. Um, the next one is this mosquito noise reduction. That's the primary tool used to get rid of the little blocky noise, the compression noise, getting rid of uh, uh, the artifacts from that highly compressed video. So that's a very important thing, especially when you're watching things like YouTube videos. This does a really dramatic difference there. Then there's a set of smoothing and enhancements. These things uh, actually make video pop off the screen. If you look in your user's guide, we show you a lot of uh, before and after pictures to show you what each individual control does. But these are the ones that really make a dramatic difference. 
And then last, there's ringing suppression and output smoothing. So these are really used um, to fix any problems created by doing really large scaling. So if you're going from 480 all the way up to 4K, you have to kind of fill some of those in between pixels for lack of a better description. This makes that scaling look even better and gets rid of the ringing that's present. Uh, it, it gets rid of ringing in, in uh, high-end scaling. So that's enhancements. Again, a lot of that's gone through in the user's manual. Then there's a set of professional tools um, in two different menus. One of them lets you actually modify the capabilities of the TV, or at least um, what that TV reports, and that's called EDID. We can do capture and save. We can actually on-screen modify different parts of that EDID. And uh, if, if, you don't want, if you don't know what this means or haven't done it before, we would suggest you be careful because you can end up with no picture. Um, if, if you have any of those, if you modify it incorrectly, you can always do a factory de default reset by holding both buttons on iScan Mini and while you plug power in and that resets everything and gets your picture back. There's a whole other category of tools here. In fact, we have a set of test patterns that help you to uh, set up the picture properly. So this isn't a, a full color calibration test pattern generator, but it at least lets you set things like uh, scaling, uh, brightness and contrast, as well as sharpness, things that are really important to get right so that uh, the TV really looks the way it should. And a really exciting feature is called demo mode. I'll just turn it on using the remote control. It lets us split the screen. So in this particular case, I've got processed or enhanced video on the left side, unenhanced on the right, and I can very quickly turn that on and off. If, I don't know if you can see in the video, but if you look at her eyeball, it's a really good indication as I turn it on and off, it makes a dramatic difference. You can see uh, a really big difference in detail, uh, which is what I'm setting, uh, detail enhancement and edge enhancement here that really make a big difference in the detail and in some of these colors. Um, I can also sweep that demo bar across the screen, which is, it's almost magic. As that bar goes across the screen, it just cleans up the video as it moves. So you can see the difference you're making in those enhancement choices that you make. Um, it's also a great thing to, to show the family what an amazing little product this is. So there's one other feature in the audio menu. So if you have a sound bar or some device that doesn't know what to do with HDMI, doesn't have an HDMI input, but you still want to feed it audio, we have the ability to split, um, send audio and video uh, to the TV, but also pick off of that and send the audio over uh, Speedif, uh, Toslink, Optical, uh, to a soundbar or other device like that. So it's an audio stripping device as well. You can even uh, modify its EDID differently to ask for different types of audio content. So for instance, if your soundbar is only capable of uh, PCM as opposed to Dolby, you can, you can set what you're asking for from your source devices. So that's iScan Mini. We really hope you enjoy it. We think it's going to make a dramatic difference to the video quality in, in your home. Thanks.